usually a venue for live music, Attainable Records collected local artists and traded them an evening to follow the trends of hockey, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Emerging in the 90s, artists created their own cards to trade around the art community. Some thought it would be a great thing to take part in if residents were looking to expand into something different. I've heard too many times that Lethbridge is boring. Um, and I really don't think it is if you go out and you find the great people here that are um, trying to do interesting and fun things. With no requirements other than to show up, some people brought with them a number of supplies to further express themselves and make their cards more unique. Mar says creating your own trading cards is a good way to get involved in the art community without having to worry about being successful. Enticing many University of Lethbridge art students to attend, they were also glad there was another location breathing life into the community. You know, there's Casa, there's the SAG, so it's nice to have another like venue that sort of holds art events and where you can come and you know, like, be part of the community. <laughs> Feeling there is a little distance between the two communities, Another goal was to bring music and fine arts together by providing a way for them to share in mutual expression. For E! News, I'm Halen Cooper.